How to run multiple Firefox profiles. Say you have many user accounts on a website such as YouTube. Normally, the only way to switch between them is to log out of one account and log in with the other. Fortunately, Firefox has a facility to allow you to run two separate instances of Firefox while keeping all configuration between two profiles separate. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to use. This video is to show you how to set it all up. First off, click on the Start button and select the Run option. In the box that appears, type CMD and press Enter. If it all works well, you should see a window that looks like this one, although the details may be different on your system. The first command you need to type is set MOZ no remote equals 1 and press Enter. Look to the video description for the correct type text to type here. The next line to type into the same window we see colon backslash program files backslash Mozilla Firefox backslash firefox.exe space hyphen profile manager then press enter. Again look in the video description for the correct text to type here. This assumes that you chose the default install path when you originally installed Firefox. If it's in a different location, you will need to use that directory instead, but that tends to be the exception. It's much easier to type these long commands if you use what's known as tab completion. If you type the first few letters, then press the tab key, it will usually complete the name of that directory. On the screenshots we're looking at at the moment, I did a change of directory. This was so that the commands would fit on one line for the screenshot. You don't need to type that part, but you can make it if you want to. Here's the profile manager window that should appear after you type this um, command. Click on the create profile button and then this window should appear. Read the notice and click next if you're happy to continue or click cancel to back out. The next screen is Firefox asking us to name our new profile. We don't want another one called default user, so pick a new name here. I've called this one second, but you can pick any name you like, but make a note of the name you choose as you will need it later on. Click on the finish button when you're happy and you'll be taken back to the profile list. If you want to, you could create more profiles or even delete unwanted profiles. You may notice the start Firefox button but we don't want to go typing this uh, set moz no remote command every time. So instead, let's click on the exit button to come out of the profile manager. So we can have a simple icon to click on, we'll create what's called a batch file. Click on start, then run as before, but this time type notepad and press enter. When the empty notepad appears, you need to type in this text, the text is shown on the screen. Rather than me read it all out, you can copy the text from the video description. Notice that two lines are similar to the commands we already typed in the CMD window earlier, but one is slightly different. If you found Firefox installed at a different location when we earlier, earlier called it the profile manager, use that location instead. The most important thing is the name of the profile. Here, the example uses the name second, as I typed earlier. Replace this word with the name you chose instead, if indeed you did choose one, a different one. If you have several profiles, you'll need to create a file for each individual profile. Now we need to save our new file. Use the file menu and select the save as option. You can save these files wherever you like on your hard disk, but here I'm just going to save them in the My Documents directory. Notepad normally saves files with a TXT extension, but we don't want to use that. Instead, we need to select a different file type by clicking on the list box and selecting All Files as shown on the screen. Now you can type in the name of your new file, but make sure it ends with dot B A T. 
Finally, click Save to save it. If we now close down Notepad and go to the directory where you saved the file, you should see your new file with an icon that looks like a framed picture of a cog. Click on it, and if it all goes well, the new instance of Firefox should appear as if it was a fresh installation, leaving the original profile alone. Using this new instance, you can now log in to your, to your website with your different login, and then when you can return to your original login on the original profile. Enjoy!